Howdy fellow redstoners and welcome to the explanation and tutorial video for the Minecraft 7 suit armor stand swapper. So if you haven't seen the demonstration video for this, I highly recommend you go check it out right now. I'll provide an annotation on the screen. If you've already seen it, then go ahead and click on either the explanation or the tutorial section and we'll go ahead and get started. So before we start the explanation, let's go ahead and take a look at all the redstone here. So there it is right there, you can see on the top there and on the bottom here here's the decoder section here got some hoppers in there got the trapdoor line and the piston line down there so that is the entirety of the redstone let's get on with the explanation here so it works by detecting which orientation this item is in the item frame so you see uh, if we move it here to this position this comparator in the back detects that it outputs a signal strength of 3, and if we rotate it one more time, it'll now output, output a signal strength of 4 here. And then again, if we rotate it once more, it's 5, etc. Then it goes through this decoder here, and that decoder um, provides an output through one of these torches back here. Um, this torch then lights this um, redstone on top of this piston here causes that piston to extend down and now this magenta wool block can be uh, powered so I'll show you what happens if we go ahead and switch to the next one basically the next piston extends down and now the blue wool line can be powered so basically we now need to send power through this bl blue wool line because the blue wool line is connected to this dispenser right here which has some armor in it just happens to be diamond and now in the, uh, in the latest snapshots in Minecraft 1.8, dispensers can actually put um, armor onto um, armor stands and also onto players as well. So that's how this uh, whole thing works here. It uses dispensers to output armor onto an armor stand down here. So you can see these dispensers are filled up with different types of armor. And basically all of these lines here, these different color lines, go to different dispensers and tell the uh, dispenser, hey, you need to fire and put the armor on this armor stand. Now you might be asking yourself, how in the world do you send four different pulses to these dispensers? Because they'll need four different pulses to fire all of this armor. And the answer to that is this multiple pulse generator right here. So this design here is incredibly, incredibly useful. You can actually change this to output two, three, four, or five pulses if necessary, depending on which one of these you set to subtraction mode. But let me show you exactly what happens here. So this is the same configuration. If we just hit this button, one, two, three, four, you saw it, and the armor got put on there really easily. This is an incredibly useful um, little little machine here. So yeah, definitely. Uh, going to look forward to using that a bit more. So that's how we get the pulses through this and to the dispensers. Um, so let's just go ahead and see that in action here. So we got diamond armor all set to go. So we hit this button, one, two, three, four. And then you saw the trap door open and the piston extend. That comes from this line here. So uh, the signal comes down this line here through these repeaters, opens the trap door. Then six ticks later, um, the piston line here, or the, sorry, the uh, repeater line here, extends that piston, and the entire thing comes upward, uh, fully complete like it is there. Um, this gold line here is also fairly important. This actually is the player armor portion, and this button basically serves the same purpose as this button, just in a location that the player can use it directly. So hopefully that was a good explanation. Now let's go ahead and go on to the tutorial. Okay, so let's go ahead and crack on with this tutorial here. So first thing you want to do, obviously, is find where you want to build it. And you want to come down and dig down one block here, place a sticky piston and a slime block on top. Then what you want to do is you want to go ahead and make a plus shape, sort of like this, with dispensers on top facing inward toward the slime block. And on one side, you want to put only one dispenser instead of two, so there'll be seven dispensers total. And then get rid of the blocks underneath of those dispensers just like that. 
Okay, so the next step here is to then go up six blocks from this slime block. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we'll just get rid of all these other blocks here. And then just go ahead and make a little ring around where your slime block sits. So you should see the slime block there and you should be able to jump uh, right down into it like, like that. And then go ahead and also um, extend it out laterally. So... Um, yeah, just like this on the sides and just like that on this side and also you know back this way a little bit as well um, so then with that little ring you went ahead and made go ahead and actually get rid of that and what you want to do is you want to hook up your um, hoppers to each one of these droppers so the way I typically do it is this one dropper here I go on the right side of it and place down the hoppers like so just like that. Then I come to this one right here and place a dropper into it and then just shift click up to the top. These side droppers here I just go ahead and click those three times and there you go that one's hooked up. This one on the side do the same thing and then you just repeat that pattern all the way up and let's see, we'll have this one, we'll have go into here, right there, and then finally this middle one here, just go straight up, and then that's it. Put your block back right here, and then place a trap door right on there. Alright, so next up you're going to want to determine where you want your selector panel to be. I'm going to have mine on the right side, and so I'm just going to come out one block here, and up one there and then make a 3x3 three three panel right here and then place another block for where my button will go and then I'm just going to go ahead and extend this floor over to it and also back one just like that okay so next up we're going to go ahead and make our suit selector so come to the center of this 3x3 three three grid place a item frame down and any item into the item frame itself then come to the back side Place a block, one block below uh, where your item frame is on this side. And then place a redstone comparator on that block. It should turn on. Go ahead and place a block there. And then seven more blocks. Just like that. And go ahead and place redstone dust on top of all those blocks. Then come down one and over one. And you want another line of eight blocks right there. And on top of these eight blocks you'll want repeaters just like so. The last one should turn on. Then a block in front of that and make a whole line of those just like that. And on top of these we want repeaters on three ticks. So just right click it twice for each one of these. And there you go. Next up go ahead and shift click and place a block on top of the first line of repeaters we placed. And then just draw that out. Eight blocks. Place dust on top of all those. And then come to the back here, place another row of blocks in front of the repeaters on three ticks, just like that. And now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and place two rows of torches right here and right here. So one row should be on, except for this one, and then the opposite for the other row. So your selector should now be done. Uh, this is your output here on this row, and you can test it because if you rotate it by one it should move on to the next torch uh, so just check that now and make sure that you have everything uh, working properly so now we're gonna go ahead and add the individual piston lines uh, for each suit so come to the back here on this first torch come over one and down one destroy that block then place dust on top with a sticky piston facing downward on the second torch we're gonna go ahead and set that as our default so just skip it third torch do the same thing as we did on the first one so dust on top, sticky piston facing downward. On the fourth one, you're going to have to do something a little bit different. Just go ahead and place two blocks like that and a uh, repeater and dust right there. Then go ahead and continue sort of this zipper pattern here and just alternate between just dust and a repeater. So dust, repeater, and then dust on the other two blocks like that. And then just go ahead on every block you have dust on, place a... Um, piston facing downward like this so you should have like an alternating pattern just like so 
And there we go. On this back side now, I would highly suggest that you go ahead and color coordinate your lines. So we'll have red line on the first one. Then on the third one we'll have orange. Then cyan, magenta, blue wool, light blue wool. And then on the eighth one we'll have lime wool. And this is just to help you keep clear which lines are which and where each one goes. Next thing we'll do is go ahead and wire up the button. So place a button right on here. Break this block and you actually need to place a half slab right there for reasons that will become apparent soon. Then come down one block and place a redstone dust on it. Then come down one more block and down yet another block here and place dust on top of those blocks there. Then go ahead and draw out one, two, three, four blocks. Place three more blocks beside like that and you want something like this. So you place a repeater down, comparator, comparator, comparator and put the front two comparators into subtraction mode. Then go ahead and uh, make something like this and you'll have this line come out uh, just like so. Um, and actually you can make it a little more compact by doing something like that. And then just place redstone dust connecting all of these up like so. Next thing you want to do is come on down here, continue this line of redstone down like this. And you may want to make it too wide because you got to do a little bit of finagling down here. There we are. And so what you want now, you want some uh, blocks in some of these appropriate spaces here. So like there and there. Um, you won't have one here. So break that. And then just keep on coming down like this. And you want repeaters going in like this on those blocks right there. And then all you need to do is go ahead and place redstone behind all of these. And then destroy any additional blocks. Next up, we'll wire up the other side of this button. So come over one, down one, destroy that block, dust on top. Come over one, two, three more blocks, and put dust on top of all of those, just like that. Then we'll come over one, two, three, and we'll place a half slab there. You'll see why in a moment. And then we'll place another one block there, and one block uh, right here. So we need to power this trap door. So to do that, we'll destroy... Um, the block, two blocks um, away from it here, and place dust on this block so we can put, say, another rack there, or another brick, rather, with a button on top there. And so we need to get power to that block, so to do that, we'll go ahead and place dust here, and then we'll place three repeaters on four ticks delay each, just like that. Next thing we'll do is we'll come over here. Um, right here, we're going to come down one block like so and we're gonna make a spiral staircase downward just like that and we'll have dust on it and this is going to lead into our piston over here and we have 12 ticks delay on the um, trap door so we're gonna have 18 ticks delay on this piston here so there's 4, 8, 12, 16, 18 and then one more dust there at the end. And at this point, if you place an armor stand down, you should see whenever you hit the button, should pop up and then catch itself on the uh, trap door there. Next up, we'll start to hook up each of these dispensers. Um, if you want to, you can go ahead and skip this part if you already know how to do that. Um, it's pretty straightforward, but for those who want to see it, I will go ahead and do it. So basically, Place a red wool block on back of that dispenser. We're going to hook up that wool block to this wool block here. So we'll come over like this, come over two, and then down one. And then we'll go ahead and come over another one here. And then just run this back like that. And we'll place dust across the entire top here. And that's your red line complete right there. Next up, we'll be hooking up the orange line here. So we're going to put our orange block behind this dispenser come down a few over two there and then we need to hook it up up here so we'll come out one there and then do something like this and then again just go ahead and place dust on top of all of these blocks like that next up the cyan line so we're actually going to have the cyan line connect up to this one dispenser over here and we'll come out one two blocks and then go up one like that and we're actually going to have to change this up a little bit here. So just get rid of some of this. Place a full block there and a stone slab uh, one back from where it was previously. And then just the timing will just remain the same. Um, then go ahead and come over here. And we'll come up with the cyan block there. And up again here. 
Then we'll come over a few. Uh, next, we'll come down here. And we need to have this sand block like that. Come down over two. So you're going to be in between the red and the uh, orange wool blocks. We'll come up one here. And then over here, here, up there. And then join this up like that. So now, starting from here, we'll have dust, 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 repeater, dust, dust, and then all the way down, dust from here on down. And you can see here why we need to move that half slab back one. And then just connect that up like so. Now you'll notice back here uh, where the orange and red lines are that this dust connects. So just cut that off with a solid block and everything should be fine. Next up is the magenta line. So magenta line will start right there. And it's going to go all the way over to uh, this dispenser on top uh, right there. So then just draw it over a little bit here. And we'll just do something like this. Just like so. And then go ahead and put dust on top of all of this. And you'll notice once more, uh, there is some problems with dust. Just place blocks on top to eliminate that. Next up, dark blue, we'll have it come from this dispenser right here on the bottom. So we'll have it come this way. And then this will connect up with that block right there. So just have it come over one. And then connect it up like this. And of course we'll have redstone all the way down right there. And then we have light blue wool here. And that's going to connect up to this top dispenser on this side. So just bring it down like so. And over a little bit. And again, redstone dust needs to go on top of all of those. And then the lime wool block here, we can bring it down like that. And then just run this line pretty much all the way to here. And on the end here, go up one just like that. And so we'll run redstone all the way down here. You'll see it'll connect um, pretty much at every point here. So you can just go ahead and place a block there. And blocks on top of all of those and all of those. And there is the lime green wool done. So then once we have all of our dispensers wired up, the only thing we have left to do is determine where we want to put each armor set. So for this first one here, I'm going to put my um, leather armor in that one. And we find the right dispenser to put it in by just following the redstone here. So you'll see right now the red um, block is extended, so the red line will be powered. So we want that to be our leather line. So we come down here, we see that this red block will power this dispenser, so we'll go ahead and put our leather armor right in there. Then we come back up to the top, rotate this one. If you remember the second line here is our default so that won't output anything. Then on this third line here we'll go ahead and place down some chain. Come to the back again. We'll see that the orange uh, wool block is extended there so we'll just follow this orange line down through here and looks like this orange block powers this one right here. Get that item frame out of there. And we'll put a uh, bunch of chainmail armor in there. So that one's done. And then you just continue this pattern until you have um, all seven slots filled out. So at this point, you are now done if you want it to be just an armor stand swapper. So just place this down right on the trap door like that. Drop it down. And then just select your armor suit. And you're good to go. So there you go. That's up and working. Uh, however, if you would like it to have some additional features like mine head over here, um, stick around and I will show you how to do those right now. Okay, so first to hook up these lights, what you need to do is come back to the back here and you'll go ahead and place down a block here and then a whole row of blocks just like that. We'll place torches on the side of those blocks like so. And then we'll have another row of blocks on top of those torches and again torches on the side of those blocks like that and then finally one more row of blocks above like so then we'll come over one down one and we'll have a three wide row of blocks like this so three wide and eight long here and this is how we're gonna get our signal over to our lamps um, so on the middle section of our selector go ahead and place a lamp at the very top and then eight more lamps Cross just like so. Put blocks on top of those and then we're going to draw the signal out with a repeating pattern of uh, repeaters 
and dust. And this is just to save on resources. You could use all repeaters here if you really wanted to. But doing this alternating pattern here saves on resources a little bit. And there you go. You should see as you rotate this uh, selector over, the lamp should move down until it gets to the end. And then it should come back here. Uh, and yeah, you, all you have to do now, uh, after that's done, place a item frame uh, or item frames above there. And then just put the appropriate armor into the appropriate slots. So the one other feature that I will add now is how to make it a player armorer. So go ahead and come down here, place a block like this, block right there, and two more blocks like so. Then go ahead and place redstone dust there, 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 and there, with a button on the side there. And that is it. You now have a player armorer. And there is a too high block gap here even, um, so you can enter it from below. And so let's go ahead and test it out. So let's go ahead and select, let's say, diamond armor clear my inventory come over here step on this trap door bounce up hit this button one two three four and voila we now have diamond armor on pretty cool alrighty let me get out of f5 here there we are alright so that is the entire build complete you can also add some aesthetics here I would highly suggest going ahead and putting some armor um, so you know which slots, uh, which hopper slots to throw your armor in. Um, that would be useful. And I'd also recommend going ahead and covering these hoppers um, so you can't see those as well with carpet or perhaps a snow layer. But that's the entire build done here. Just one more quick view of it. Um, I just want to say thank you guys all for watching. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. This has been CubFan. Goodbye.